When it's winter in the corn country, people don't stop eating corn. So I traveled a great deal. I'm at George, Abba Joy, Philip oh, Jack, Robert, Dora, Harold, Jerome, Ed, Mike, Tom, Tom Bill, Bill, Harvey, Bill, Sheila, Irene, John, Michael, Michael Curtis, Joffle, Jay, Jim, Jim, Manny, Tom, Paul, Bill, Kirby, Bill, Alan, Bill, Bryce, Bill, Peter, Bill, Charles, Bill, Rita, Drummond, Bill, Cassandra, Bill, Pamela, Marilyn, Lewis, Ted, Clayton, Lawrence, Sid, Barbara, John, Richard, Tony, Paul, Ann, Russell, Larry, Lee, Candy, and Marvel, Jane, Don, Basil, Clark, Anya, Les, Sam, and Brian. This being some trip, and the possibility seeming endless, and the faculty for entertaining and being thus entertained limited, I quit this and resolved to make my own self an object of study. Part two. I decided to sweep away everything in my mind and start over again, not adding one little iota until I was absolutely sure of it. I contemplate the declination of my own opinions and will base them on a foundation wholly my own. It's impossible to trust anyone else. Walking alone in the dark, I resolve to proceed slowly. First of all, I'm not going to accept anything as true unless I'm sure of it. Second, I divide all difficulties into as many I'll go from the easiest to the hardest, by order. And last, make sure I forget nothing. I thereby exercise my reason with the greatest absolute perfection attainable by me. Point two. For my reason, I have a choice of revival doctrine, which has temporarily applied by the succumbing of that claim to revise and accord in my act the dead of all the former judgments of my purely executive reason. I will obey the laws and customs of the country, choose the mode or way for convenience or excess of reason dictates, and make any means which may make it daily decay and infected with the fear and depravity of all men. The eternal negative to my accusation shall prepare to pay in payment to it such alleviating payments as remorse and repentance. Always comfort myself by the interest 